It's Amanda from AmandaFrances.com, live from Italia. I'm in a village called Satona. It is so good and so pretty. I haven't done a lot of reflecting on my business, not really a lot at all. That's not, I've been focused more on gelato and carbs and things like that. But I have done some reflecting. Okay, and here is my, what I, what I'm thinking about. When I first thought, hey, Amanda, you're not happy with your life, quit your PhD program. And when I first thought, why the fuck would I continue to charge hourly when I want to charge monthly or every three months? Like, why? Why? who's going to pay me more than $85 an hour? Who's going to pay me more than $100 an hour? How, how greedy am I to want more than $100 an hour? When I had those thoughts, when I had the thought of how in the world are you going to work three days a week and make enough money? When I had the thought of, how do you expect to go on a vacation every other month? Okay, let's see, whatever. Every time I had those thoughts, those big, expansive, too-good-to-be-true thoughts, my mind told me I was crazy. I felt crazy. I felt scared. I felt like there's no way in hell. I thought, who are you to think that, for you to dream that? Every single time, I felt crazy. So the point is, that our, our mind, our limiting beliefs, our any belief that doesn't feel big and expansive and powerful, any belief like that is a big fat lie. That is not our guidance system. That is not what we listen to. That is not how we make choices. Like right now in a totally different area, I have a lot of limiting beliefs going on in my mind and I'm just like struggling to remember that that is not the ultimate truth. The ultimate truth is love and whatever form love means for for you, right? So the highest truth feels, love feels clear. It feels free of confusion. It feels simple. It feels, oh, I could just do it that way, right? It feels like, why not? What about that? It feels like a dream come true. That's how love feels. That's how the highest truth feels. That's how, that's how you, it feels like an exhale, right? You take a big, deep breath when you think it's possible to do that thing. And then you get scared. You, you enter into a world of confusion and you don't know how, and you don't know how, when, and what am I gonna do without a PhD and all my clients are gonna go away when I raise my prices and no one will ever love me if I have those kind of standards. And like whatever, you enter, right after you decide to go big, you enter into a world of fucking confusion. And if you can overcome that and focus on the truth, Create your affirmations, do your meditation, get on the yoga mat, whatever the fuck you have to do. If you continue to focus on the truth, you will come out on the other side living the dream. The too good to be true dream will be yours. But in the process, but it's going to feel weird and scary and confusing and like you're being greedy or bratty or bitchy or whatever. And your ego is going to freak out first. And that's what happens. The responsibility to continue to choose again. Continue to choose the other way. Continue to choose love and light and truth and hope every day. And various random thoughts will pass through your head about why it won't work or why it will work or whatever. You'll you'll hear a bunch of things and feel a bunch of things, but you only have to hold on to the things that feel good, that feel true, that feel expansive. If you hold on to those things, those thoughts through the process, you'll come out on the other side. But yeah, in the meantime, it's weird and fucking scary. It's not easy for any of us. In, in the midst of deciding we're worthy of more and we're not going to settle for whatever, it feels scary every time it's supposed to. Okay, for example, money. I've been working on money for a long, 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 long time. So now any kind of weird negativity limiting belief around money, though I have to work through it, seems simple. Seems like a five minute deal. Seems like, let me spend a hot second on that. See if I need to forgive anyone. See if I need to release anything. See if I'm not doing my part in some way. Let's just take a look at this and move forward. Many, many isn't a long process anymore. But every time we go big, bigger in a new area, it does feel really confusing for a little while. Yeah, and then we create better habits. I have really good habits around many now because I've done that for a while. You know what I mean? just for a hot second, then you're okay again. Then you come back home. You come back to your truth. And we all know what home feels like. The point is that you wake up and feel the fear and you're determined to do the work every day no matter what. 
Okay, lovers. So remember, it's supposed to feel crazy. Feeling confused is normal. You're not doing anything bad or wrong if you're in a, a funky, hot mess place. You're working through. You know, you're working through. Let yourself work through. And that crazy, 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 crazy belief of something you really want that you don't believe you can have, that is your destiny. That is where God is more than willing to take take you to if you will determine to team up with him every single fucking day, right? Because you have God on your side. You have the creator of the entire universe trying to do this thing with you, trying to work with you on your ultimate dream. The creator of the entire universe. That ain't no little thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I feel like I can say this and mean it because I did it. <clears throat> you know, I'm here in Italy taking a month off trying not to work. You know, like I, I, I did the work. You know what I'm saying? It is real and you can do it. Okay, right after you decide you want more, before you move into receiving more, that's when you're in the world of confusion. That's when everything feels crazy. That's when you feel like you can't do it. It breaks after that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> if you continue to take action as though you can truly have the thing you want, it breaks right after, right after the world of confusion. So continue to do the work in the middle, in the middle of the confusion. And you'll feel like maybe you're not doing a good job some of the time, but that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. The limiting beliefs, the crazy thoughts, the who are you to do that, how is it ever going to work, who's going to pay you, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> that is not the thoughts you latch onto and repeat over and over and over again. You find more true, more loving, more what you know is actually real, more validating, affirming thoughts, and you repeat those over and over again until those become more true than the limiting beliefs. And that is the fucking work. The flow feels good. Like I have a, a flow with money. Me and money know how to work together and it's not scary. But I don't have a flow with everything. Like I, I, I work on things. I deal with things. But yeah, I believe that it is like the will of the divine for me to be as fucking abundant as I want to be. So whenever I get a new goal or a new whatever, I don't have to clear a lot of chaos. I have to like remove something every time, but I don't have to clear a lot of chaos to move into it because I've been working on it for a long time. But like, yeah, there's other areas where I might get a little more stuck when I decide I'm worthy of more. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a little less practice. But yeah, if anyone's curious about the Money Mentality Makeover, because that is a course that teaches you a lot about clearing those beliefs, changing the beliefs, learning how to focus on the truth, then it's amandafrancis.com slash change dash your dash money dash game or email me at amandafrancis.com at gmail.com or message me on either of my Facebook pages. Okay. And I'm updating my Instagram like constantly. So catch all my Italy pictures on Instagram and yeah, let me know if y'all need anything. I'm going to show you the view one more time because it's so good. So good, right? So good, so good, so good. Okay. Well, I love you guys so much. And remember, you can do it. Everything is working out for you. All things are coming together for your highest good. Continue to say it. Continue to believe it. Integrate it into your belief system in the most divine time and the most divine way. You receive every single thing you want. Got it? Okay. I love you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa.